Now we're going to cover the rudder and the elevators. The frames for all three are the same, but the skins are different. The two identical skins with a zipper and seam orientation. One will be the rudder and the other will be the left elevator. The third skin with the zipper and the other orientation will be the right elevator. When finished, the zippers will be down on the elevators. Once you get the skin on the framework and the bottom part of the skin wrapped around the frame, you close the zipper up and you install this zip tie. You tuck the zipper down underneath the Velcro, snip off the zip tie, close this Velcro, you have the rudder skin installed and we'll do the same thing with both elevators. It's an identical procedure. Now that we have the rudder and elevators covered, we use the same procedure on the ailerons and the flaps. We're now going to install the hinges on the control surface starting with the rudder. Make sure you have the rudder, there's different locations for the holes between the rudders and elevators. To identify the rudder, make sure that the zipper is on the left side and the Velcro is on the right side standing from the back of the airplane. Starting with the rudder, we need to burn holes through the leading edge skin for the hinge attach points. On the bottom of the rudder, the first hole located is 5 and 3 eighths inch from the bottom and from the top we're 2 and a half inches from the top. Also on the bottom since these frames are all identical with the elevator frames there's a hole at 2 and a half inches on the rudder we're not going to expose that hole. I'm going to start by locating the hole that's 5 and 3 eighths Burn that through with the soldering iron. The same thing from the top of the rudder frame. The hole is at two and a half inches. Then where the pilot holes will be using to install the hinges. After we've located the pilot holes on the rudder and exposed them by burning a hole through with a soldering iron, we need to cut away a section of the Velcro so we can attach the hinges. Orientation on the hinges on all the control surfaces are, has the long legs point towards each other. The pilot hole is also the hole closest to the bend. To cut this section out and make a lineup of this hinge, 
a template is included with your kit. We need to line up the pilot hole with the arrow and the orientation of the hinge as so and mark a line down each side then we'll cut this section out. After you get this section cut out, we'll take the hinge proper orientation with a rivet in the pilot hole and put it in the pilot hole on the rudder. That will be riveted into place and after that's riveted, make sure the alignment is right at the hinge and we'll back drill these other two holes. Same thing on the top of the rudder. Locate the pilot hole, the arrow for the hinge hole, and the direction of the long leg on the hinge pointing towards the long leg on the opposite hinge. We'll mark those out, and we'll cut that section of Velcro out. Then again, make sure the leg faces the leg of the opposite hinge. Rivet in the pilot hole into the pilot hole of the rudder. After we have the skins cut out and the hinge is in proper orientation, we're going to rivet the hinge in place with the rivet through the pilot hole. And we'll do the same thing on the opposite end. Rivet it through the pilot hole. Proper orientation on the rudder. Then I'll we'll make sure these are lined up properly along the tube. We'll back drill the other two holes here and the other two holes on the opposite end and rivet that was in place. Once we're satisfied everything is lined up, we'll rivet that into place. Then we'll do the same thing on all the other hinge locations.